Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make LED dot matrix modules. These modules are a great way to add some fun to your electronics project by showing information and creating eye catching visuals. I have many of these modules, but the problem is these LED dot matrix modules are very small in size and in daylight with mass brightness, it's hard to see with these modules. So in today's video, I'm going to make my own version of LED dot matrix, which is bigger in size and the brightness is also impressive. Before we can get started, first of all, we have to design the circuit. After a little bit of research, I have designed the circuit and now it's time for to design the PCB. As you can see, here I have designed two PCB. One is for LED matrix and the other one is for driver circuit. Now it's time for order our PCBs. And I'm going to order my PCBs from all PCB because all PCB is the world's fastest PCB manufacturer. And here you can get your first PCB product for only $1. And if you join through my link, then first 100 people will get a $10 coupon. So link in the description, grab this offer and make your project more professional with all PCB. Only you have to upload the GARA file, select the quantity, choose your color and simply check out. You can download the GARA file link in the description. After placing the order, I have received my PCB within one week. And as you can see, the quality of these PCBs are amazing. Now we have our PCBs and for one dot matrix module we need two PCBs, one for matrix and the other one for the driver circuit. First I will solder this male hair pin so that it will easier for me to solder the LEDs later. After soldering the male header pins it's time to the LEDs and here I am going with the red color but you can choose your favorite color. After soldering the LEDs, simply cut off the legs and then our top layer will be ready. As you can see, after cutting the legs, it looks so good. Now it's time for the bottom layer. We need some electronics components like capacitors, some resistors, some male to female pin header and the most important thing, the Max 7219 driver IC, which will drive all the LEDs. Now it's time to put all the components into the PCB and here I don't have 24 pin IC base so I have used 3 8 pin IC base. After soldering all the components simply cut off the legs and then insert the max 71 IC into the IC base. After so much of work, both PCBs are ready. And it's super easy to connect both the PCB. Just plug in the top layer with the bottom layer. Finally, our LED dot matrix module is completed and as you can see, it looks like the bigger version of this little LED dot matrix module. So now it's time for the testing and to run our module, here I am using Arduino Nano and to connect it with our module, we need some male to female jumper wires. Let's move to my laptop and it's time for a little bit of coding. But don't worry, I have already done that. So simply upload this code to Arduino. You can download this code, link in the description. Here you can see our module is working absolutely fine and the brightness is also very high. So I have decided to make 4 of them and it's super easy to connect this module with each other. Only you have to plug in them one by one. And 
the best part is no extra wire is required for the connection. Now let's run some scrolling text on our display. You can also make digital clock using this module which will show the time, date and all. To be honest, I love this module and in my upcoming videos we will definitely see some interesting project using this display modules. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you have any suggestion for future videos, feel free to leave them in the comment box. Thanks again for watching, I will see you guys on my next video.